Uh, good afternoon. My name is uh, Mayor Manuel Lozano. I'm the mayor of the city of Baldwin Park, located in Los Angeles County, uh, California. Baldwin Park is a strong working class community of 80,000 people, predominantly first and second generation Latinos and a growing Asian population. In our small city, we have six fast food restaurants and a convenience store for every one grocery store. For the past five years, the city of Ballin Park has been actively engaged in changing this food landscape by working with restaurants and community partners to develop a strategy uh, for improving food access in Baldwin Park. We have searched for good food retailers who have improved our food um, access. We couldn't find any. Last year, the tie finally turned and we began to partner to bring a new grocery store to the heart of our community. Now, with the attention of the First Lady on healthy food access, children in our community will be able to buy an apple near where they live and their parents will have access to new jobs. Make no mistake, the health of our communities is determined by what it is. How can we eat healthy if we can't buy healthy food where we live? But this work is not just about getting retail grocers to come into our community. It is about improving the quality of food available so that everyone can make the healthy choice the easy choice. It is also about working with the existing stores that we can have in our community. Many of them liquor stores that want to become more complete corner markets with meat, poultry, and, and, and fish selection. It is about helping stores improve the quality of their selection so people want to shop there. Our healthy selection initiative in Baldwin Park is making a difference for our residents. Finally, mayors across the country know how important it is for the health of their children and for the economic health of their neighborhoods. To make sure healthy food is attractive, available, and easier to buy. As mayor, with the help of my city council members, I have passed the first municipal healthy food policy in the nation, eliminating the highest fat, sugar, and sodium food from vending machines and youth programs. Whole City Business Development Roundtable calling on local food retailers to adopt the healthy selection program, prioritize healthy food access, and more fruits and vegetables offering makes changes to the, store, to the store plans and make their check, uh, checkout aisles candy free. Recognize corner stores making, stores making improvements with the healthy selection program at the, at the community events and at the city council level. Call on city staff to seek a good food retail um, anchor for the downtown redevelopment project in the heart of Baldwin Park and require that grocers too create jobs and make sure those jobs were available and attainable to the Baldwin Park residents, improve their floor plan to make it more open to healthy front selections, and to make pedestrian friendly walkways, breezeways, and good shading leading to the, leading to the grocery stores, making it easier and more secure for residents. I am honored to be part of our First Lady's announcement in support of access to healthy food. These types of in, uh, in, in, initiatives will help every community access health, healthy foods, create new jobs, improve property value, and make our community healthier. And a message from the, the people of Baldwin Park, health happens here. So now it is now my honor uh, to introduce James Gavin, Chairman of the Partnerships of Healthy America. Thank you very much and good afternoon. My name is Dr. James Gavin and I'm chairman of the board for the Partnership for a Healthier America, an organization created to work with the private sector to help solve the nation's childhood obesity crisis. Today I am pleased to announce that we're making meaningful and significant progress towards that goal. Today we move past talking about statistics that show the severity of the problem and focus on steps toward a solution. 
Currently, there are 23 and a half million people in this country who have limited access to healthy, affordable food. 23 million people who cannot buy produce, who cannot bring healthy groceries home to their tables without great effort. For these 23 million people, all the reasons in the world to eat healthy are practically moot. But now, with the companies who have joined us today, and with the visionary leadership of First Lady Michelle Obama, we will help to make the healthy choice the easy choice. Walmart, Walgreens, Super Value, Klein's Family Markets, Calhoun Enterprises, and Brown's Superstores, along with the California Endowment's Freshworks Fund financing program, will bring healthy, affordable food to nearly 10 million people over the next five years in the form of new and expanded stores in areas that desperately need them. That represents more than 40% of everyone in America currently facing this problem. I'd be remiss here if I didn't pause to thank PolicyLink, the Reinvestment Fund, and others for the groundwork that's been laid for years leading up to this event. Similarly, we would not be making this announcement today without the leadership of groups like the Food Marketing Institute, who, along with the National Grocers Association and others, have continually pushed this issue forward. In addition, these new stores bring more than food. They bring jobs. Of the 23 and a half million people living in areas that lack stores selling affordable and nutritious food, 11 and a half million are individuals living in households with incomes at or below 200% of the poverty line. Six and a half million are children. Today's announcement will mean more than better food and better health. It will mean better opportunity for work. According to the companies themselves, 10,000s of jobs will be created as a result of this announcement. Perhaps most importantly, the leadership these companies have shown goes far beyond just a statement in a video and a press release. These companies have signed commitments with the Partnership for a Healthier America, and it will be part of the partnership's task to report annually and publicly on each of the company's progress, ensuring that the commitments made to build and expand stores where people need them are met. That commitment is a testament to each of the companies we have here today. Their leadership has resulted in some truly awesome commitments that will benefit millions of Americans for generations. Walgreens is committing to convert at least 1,000 of their stores where people currently cannot get access to healthy, affordable foods into food oasis stores. This means that whole fruits and vegetables, pre-cut fruit salads and green salads, and basic amenities like breads and ready-made meals will now be available to nearly 5 million people who live in areas currently with limited access to the basics. That's 5 million people. Super Value, a 140-year-old company which has long specialized in providing affordable produce to underserved areas, has committed to build another 250 Save-A-Lot stores over the next five years in or around areas that currently have little to no access to fresh fruits and vegetables. Just as important, the Save-A-Lot model allows them to keep prices very low, making it even easier for people to make the healthy choice. Their commitment today will serve an additional 3.75 million people and create more than 6,000 jobs. Earlier this year, Walmart pledged to make the food it sells healthier and the healthier foods it sells more affordable and available. Today, we are delighted that Walmart is continuing to deliver on that commitment with a plan to address underserved markets. Over the next five years, Walmart has committed to build or expand nearly 300 stores in or near areas where they're needed most, serving more than 800,000 people who struggle with access to fresh produce and affordable groceries. Walmart also estimates that more than 40,000 associates will work in these stores. It's important to note, however, 
that not every bag of groceries is being purchased from a national chain. Smaller and independent grocers are stepping up too. Led by Greg Calhoun, Calhoun Enterprises is an African-American, family-owned local chain of six grocery stores in Alabama. They serve areas in and around Montgomery where their stores are often the sole source of groceries in the communities they serve. As someone who grew up in Mobile, Alabama, who has long known of the Calhoun brand, I take personal pride in announcing that over the next five years, Calhoun's has committed to build 10 stores in or near areas that currently have no viable options for healthy, affordable foods. 10 stores, four in Tennessee and six in Alabama. Calhoun's is more than doubling their store count to serve at least 10,000 people who need them while employing another 500 on top of that. Now, I would like Walgreens, Walmart, and super value to take note here. Mr. Calhoun has more than doubled his store count. A goal that I'd like to see all three of you try to meet. Jeff Brown of Brown's Superstores has emerged as a leading voice among grocery operators on a mission to improve access to affordable food in underserved areas. He has committed to opening a new ShopRite supermarket in Philadelphia and expanding one other store in the area. Both of these projects will be critical for the thousands of people they will serve. In addition, Jeff has founded Uplift Solutions, a nonprofit foundation to help grocery owners and governments navigate the barriers to opening stores in underserved areas. Uplift Solutions will provide exactly the kind of help to the Klein family who will be opening a shop right in Baltimore, Maryland. The three new and expanded stores Jeff Brown and the Klein family have committed to will serve more than 200,000 people and create 600 new jobs for their communities. Finally, I'd like to recognize the California Endowment, one of the founders of the Partnership for a Healthier America and a national leader in efforts to reverse childhood obesity. Through its Fresh Works Fund, the California Endowment will help make $200 million in financing available to new independent retail channels and innovative food distribution programs in California through a combination of financing and grants. Freshworks brought together industry leaders like Unified Grocers and a range of other partners, including healthcare providers like Kaiser Permanente and financial trailblazers like the nonprofit NCB Capital Impact. Their innovative financing model will be used to bring healthy, affordable food to the millions in California who are currently lacking access. Plus, the Fresh Works Fund is expected to create or retain about 6,000 jobs for Californians. Jeff Brown, Marshall Klein, Greg Calhoun, Walgreens, Walmart, and Super Value, the California Endowment, their collective commitments will help nearly 10 million people stop by their local store and pick up groceries for dinner on their way home. They will help millions stock up for the week or take advantage of a sale without having to cross a city or a county to do so. They will employ tens of thousands of people who need work in their communities. We have more than 12 and a half million children and adolescents in this country who are obese. We're currently raising the first generation of kids who could have a shorter lifespan than the generation that came before them. Solving this crisis is essential. This is why the leadership of the First Lady is so critical and why today's announcement is so exciting. This is why the Partnership for a Healthier America is here, to move beyond the rhetoric and deliver on an implicit promise we make to our children. And while we know the fight is far from over, 
Today, we move closer to our goal of ending childhood obesity. Today, we make access to healthy, affordable food a reality for millions. Because it's one thing to know you have to eat your greens to pursue better health. It's another thing entirely to actually be able to buy them. Thank you very much. Now I'd like to turn it over to Josephine Grassi, who has been the produce manager at the Shop and Save in Ambridge, Pennsylvania for almost two decades. Josie is described as the heart and soul of the department and one of the most dedicated, hardworking employees at the store. She takes great pride in her work and can be counted on to do whatever needs to be done. So on a special day for here, for her, she's here with us. Josie. Thank you. Good afternoon. As you know, my name is Josephine Grassi, and I am from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I am truly honored to be here today to celebrate the Let's, Let's Move program. For more than 50 years, I have been a devoted wife, mother, grandmother, and recently, I am a great-grandmother. My family health and wellness and happiness was uh, most important to me. As a mother, I have always tried to provide my family with healthy meals, nutrition snacks, and to encourage them to stay active. After all, even the youngest child to do the hokey pokey or dance around in the playground. But, by, but for the last 30 years, I have also enjoyed providing other families healthy options to meal planning. For more than half of my life, I have been committed to my community working as a produce manager. And for the past 18 years, I have worked at a local owned and operated grocery store. It is called Shop and Save. I have worked with the owner, Phil Safran, and his family to promote and encourage health and eating options for all of our customers. As an example, instead of children getting donuts and cookies at our store, we provide them with fruit and vegetables, free of charge. Two years ago, our store benefited from a grant and was remodeled to quadruple the size of our produce department. We now are able to offer our customers a much wider array of produce options. I have seen firsthand what a more healthy option can do. It translates to our customers leaving our store with a healthy cart of groceries. <sighs> okay. In my 30 years working in produce, at nearly 50 as a mom, I have seen children can really enjoy fruits and vegetables. We make that happen. Providing kids with these foods to build a foundation for a healthy life. Today, I have been given the honor to introduce the First Lady, Ms. Obama recently launched her Let's Move campaign to help bring together community leaders, teachers, doctors, nurses, moms, dads, and a nationwide effort to tackle the challenge of childhood obesity. The Let's Move program has set an ambitious but important goal to solve the epidemic of childhood obesity within our generation. Let's Move will give parents the support they need, provide healthier food in schools, help kids to be more physically active, and make healthy, affordable foods available in every part of our country. As moms and fathers and members of our communities, we all need to do our part to ensure our children are getting the vitamins and the nutrition that they need. I am very proud and honored to introduce another mom who believes that healthy habits are born and bred at home our First Lady, Michelle Obama. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thanks so much. Please. 
blessed yourselves. Good afternoon. Well, this is very cool. I am thrilled to be here today. And I want to start by thanking Josephine for that very kind introduction and for her wonderful remarks. And I have to say, I have to out you, today is her birthday. <laughs> so happy birthday. She just turned 30, and I think that <laughs> she's going to go out and party and hang out, Definitely. go to some clubs. Oh, yes. So we, we hope this has been a good way to start your, your it birthday. It definitely has been. We are thrilled <laughs> to have you. I also want to acknowledge the members of Congress who are with us today. Uh, thank you all for taking time to come and join us. Uh, I want to thank Mayor Lozano for his uh, leadership and, and his service there. You are. Thank you so much. And I have to recognize my partner in crime, Jim Gavin. Uh, I always know that when I see him, there's good news ahead. Uh, so we are happy to have him as well as the Partnership for Healthier America for being here and for their role in, in, in helping to gather these commitments and ensuring uh, our success going forward. Uh, that partnership has been uh, a tremendous uh, part of Let's Move. And finally, I want to thank all of the businesses, all of the nonprofits, all the elected officials here. Uh, I want to thank you for your passion. I want to thank you for your conviction and for your dedication to our communities. And going off script just a bit, I would like um, all of the employees who have come here today, uh, because these uh, businesses brought the stars of their show, the, the men and women who work in these stores, would you all please stand? stuff. So make no mistake about it. This is a big deal. <laughs> it is a really big deal. I think our vice president put it better, but I'm not going to use this <laughs> word. <laughs> this is a really big deal. <laughs> the commitments that you all are making today have the potential to be a game changer for our kids and for our communities all across this country. See, when we started uh, Let's Move way back when we launched it, uh, we made healthy food financing one of our four key pillars. And there's a reason for that. There's a reason why we set a goal that every family in every community in America would have access to fresh, healthy, affordable food. Uh, and we knew that goal was ambitious. We knew that uh, a lot of folks had been working on, on this problem for years, uh, and, and few had been able to solve it. Uh, and we knew the conventional wisdom on this issue, uh, that businesses uh, won't take the risk of investing in certain communities, that the costs are too high, that the profit's too low uh, to make it worthwhile. But we also knew that if we truly wanted to end the epidemic of childhood obesity, if we truly uh, wanted all of our kids to have the chance to grow up healthy, uh, then we didn't have a choice. Uh, we needed to confront this problem head on. Uh, because we, we can give people all of the information and advice in the world about uh, healthy eating and, and exercise. Uh, we can talk all we want about calorie counts and, and recipes and uh, how to serve balanced meals. But if parents can't buy the food they need to prepare those meals, uh, if their only options for groceries are in the corner gas station or the local mini mart, then all of that is just talk. It's all just talk, and that is not what Let's Move is about. Uh, Let's Move is about giving parents real choices about the food their kids are eating. And if a parent wants to pack a piece of fruit in a child's lunch, if a parent wants to add some lettuce for a salad at dinner, uh, they shouldn't have to take three city buses or uh, pay some expensive taxi to go to another community to make that possible. 
Instead, they should have fresh food retailers right in their communities, places that sell healthy food at reasonable prices so that they can feed their families in the way that they see fit. Because when they have those choices, that can have a real measurable impact on a family's health. And we all know that. These studies have shown that people who live in communities with greater access to supermarkets eat more fresh fruits and vegetables, and they have lower rates of obesity. Uh, now, we know this isn't going to be easy. Uh, nothing we do ever is. Uh, we know that we, we can't just throw money at this problem, especially not at this time. Uh, and we know that it won't be solved by government alone or by businesses alone uh, or by communities alone. If we want to make a difference in this issue, we all are going to have to step up, all of us. We all have to find a way to do our part. Uh, solving this problem is about people like Mayor Lozano and, and Representative Dwight Evans, who decided that no child should be consigned to a life of poor health because of the neighborhood that his or her family lives in. So what did they do? Uh, they started reaching out to businesses, uh, helping folks set up shop in, in, in communities in their area. It's about organizations like the Food Trust who've been studying this issue uh, and creating models for how to solve it. It's about coalitions like the Fresh Works Fund who've come together and pooled their resources and expertise and they'll be bringing small family-owned grocery stores into underserved communities all across California. And it's, of course, about companies like Walgreens and Walmart and SuperValue. Uh, it's about entrepreneurs like uh, Greg Calhoun and, and, and Jeffrey Brown. Uh, all of them are stepping up. Uh, they decided to take that risk. They decided to make that investment because what they knew uh, was how big that payoff could be, not just in terms of dollars, but in the lives of our children, the lives that we can save. You see, they, they didn't uh, do this just as executives uh, who care about their company's bottom lines. And I've met these people. They did it as parents and as grandparents who care about the health of our kids. Uh, they did it as leaders who care about our country's future. And I think that Jeff Brown put it best when he said, and these are his words, uh, we're not going to be on the sidelines, he said. Uh, we're going to be right with our communities using what we're good at, solving problems through innovation and entrepreneurial thinking. And I have had the pleasure of seeing firsthand what happens when folks like Jeff put that innovation and entrepreneurial thinking into work in our communities. Last year, I had the privilege of visiting Philly, uh, a city where just seven years ago, there were fewer supermarkets per person than almost anywhere in America. But today, because of the dedicated efforts of elected officials and nonprofit organizations and businesses across the state of Pennsylvania, they have funded 88 supermarket projects in 34 counties, bringing nutritious food to more than 500,000 people in that state and they're projecting to create uh, or preserve more than 5,000 jobs, often in communities that need these jobs the most. Uh, and I visited one of those stores during my, my time there, and I, and I have to tell you from firsthand experience, the stores are thriving. I mean, these are beautiful, bright, gleaming stores that would make any community proud. Uh, and the people who work there and, and shop there were proud to be part of it. They were proud to have that kind of store in their communities. Uh, and they were turning a good profit. And we know that when these stores succeed, they can serve as anchors in our communities, drawing customers from surrounding neighborhoods and communities, and creating jobs for people like Josie and so many others, uh, and all the folks uh, out there who were uh, wanting to work in their communities, and that in turn can attract other businesses to come and set up shop, which can mean even more customers and even more jobs. So 
We know the impact that we can have here. I mean, all of us understand how important this is on so many different fronts. And that's why, as part of Let's Move, we created a healthy food financing initiative to encourage efforts like those in Philadelphia uh, to happen all across America. We can do it there. We can do it everywhere. Uh, and this administration is committing $35 million this year. And the 2012 budget proposes another $330 million for next year. And the plan is to use that money to leverage hundreds of millions more from the private and nonprofit sectors. So I, I think it's fair to say that we've got some uh, big things happening here. It's pretty good. I mean, just listening backstage, I mean, I knew all the, I knew the announcement. They told me ahead of time. <laughs> but it was pretty impressive. But these commitments we're announcing today are, are still just the beginning. Uh, we've got a lot of hard work ahead, uh, long road, a lot of work. So uh, I want to be clear that today isn't just a celebration. Uh, it is also a call to action. Still, uh, the companies represented here today are only a tiny fraction of the total number of retailers in this country. And if they can step up and make these investments, then there is absolutely no reason why every food rate retailer in this country can't find some way to get involved as well. Right? Can I get an amen or something? Yes. yes. <laughs> so whether you're a small, local grocer like, like Jeff or Greg or a multinational corporation, everyone has a role to play. And we want folks to be creative uh, because there's really no one size fits all solution uh, to, this, to this issue here. Every community has different needs and challenges that call for different approaches. Uh, a fresh food section in Walgreens might be a good solution for one community uh, while a farmer's market or maybe even a veggie truck uh, might be the answer in another community. At the end of the day, uh, these are local decisions that need to be made by communities for communities. So we need folks to go out and, and talk to their community leaders. Uh, and that's, again, not just a call to action to the business community, but to all Americans, particularly those living in areas that are underserved in this way. Uh, talk to community leaders, uh, get connected with nonprofit organizations and foundations that are working on this issue. Uh, we encourage people to go to our website, letsmove.gov. Uh, there they can learn about other individuals and, and communities that are working to solve this problem and, and find ideas. Because the truth is, is that if we work together and do this right, uh, if we bring the kind of success that we've had in Philadelphia to other cities and other communities across this country, I mean, just think about the difference that, that we can make. Uh, I mean, think about the numbers of people who will find jobs. Uh, think about the neighborhoods that can potentially be transformed. Uh, but more importantly, think about the impact uh, that we can have on our children uh, and their futures, on, on their health, their well-being, their ability to succeed in school, and more importantly, in life. Because that's really what this is about in the end. This is about our kids. Uh, and together with these commitments, we are happily taking the first important step forward to helping to create the kind of future that we want for all of our kids. So I want to end today by saying how proud I am, truly proud, of uh, what is happening here today. Uh, I want to tell all of you how grateful I am to see you all stepping up and being leaders in this effort. Uh, with your commitments today, you all are showing us what's possible. 
Uh, you're showing us that we live in a country where we do care deeply about our kids. We do. And when people understand the threat of childhood obesity and what, it, what risk it poses to our children's future, and when people realize that they can actually do something about it, that this isn't some mysterious issue that we can't address, we know the answer, it is right there, uh, then people step up. They do what we've always done for our children. We take risks. We make ta sacrifices so that our kids can have a better life than we had, so that they can have opportunities that we never dreamed of. So in the end, that is what Let's Move is all about. That's what these commitments represent. Uh, and I look forward to working with all of you, doing more, getting more retailers on board, creating more jobs, getting more fresh fruit, fruit and vegetables into the hands of families all across this nation. We are going to get this done. We're making some terrific progress. Uh, but we still have work to do. And I look forward to working with all of you in the months and years ahead. Thank you all so much.